Hello everybody and welcome back to Hollow Knight. In this video, I'm just going to be doing a sort of montage of my sort of adventure to beat Grimm and then followed by me trying out the first Pathion, um, Pathion of the Gods, the Master Challenge. But this is going to be sort of a little montage of me dying lots and lots and lots and lots in order to beat Grimm. So I'm just doing a voiceover now because I think I spent about... I think, I think I ended up being a 1 hour 56 minutes, almost 2 hours trying to beat him. So here you're going to see, like, my first attempt. Early on, I went with sort of a nail art type build. I heard that nail arts do a lot of damage to Grim, just in general, a lot of damage. So I thought I'd try one of those out, but I found it too difficult to pull off the nail arts. And so I ended up later switching that up, but you'll, you'll see that in the uh, in the video. I sort of go over the bits where I switch up my charm stuff. And I think you guys are going to end up being really surprised by how I beat him in the end. I would say, mm. on average, it was probably something like 50 or 60 attempts to keep to kill him, maybe a little less. Uh, and I think I show you about 20 or so of them here, maybe 30. There's quite a lot of deaths involved in this. You'll be seeing right now rapid fire deaths. And every now and again in the background here, you might hear me swear or get really annoyed because I did keep in all of my mic volume. So whenever I got angry at the game and swore at it, you guys can hear that. It'll be sort of sprinkled in there on every now and again just just especially annoying deaths uh, i found grim to be quite a frustrating fight for more than one reason for more than, more than the fact that he's hard i think that he's so luck based in terms of what moves he does that it makes him kind of i, I don't want to say dull because it was it was enjoyable to fight him there you go there's me swearing um here's me changing up my charm set for the first time but yes uh I think that his, uh, his, the, the RNG on his moves is just annoying. But the first one I went with here was I, I tried doing a sort of, um, sort of a really ballsy tactic with um, Fury of the Fallen and uh, some of the Fury of the Fallen synergies, because synerg Fury of the Fallen actually synergizes with um, Fragile Slash and Breakable Strength and also the Glowing Womb. Oh, that's me swearing again. Um, but yes, uh, it, it, it synergized with Glowing Womb and uh, it also synergized with Unbreakable Strength. So I thought I'd try it out and try lowering my HP on purpose and um, trying to kill him quickly. Because it seemed the only way to beat him was to just kill him very, very fast. And it ended up being sort of a really decent way of doing it, but... You, you guys will get to see the final run through. I'll actually just leave com leave the ending completely uncommented and you can just watch the fight in its entirety without me rambling on and see uh, see it's all glory. And here we go. Here's where I get a little ballsy. I decide that it'd be a really good idea to over charm myself, meaning I'd take four damage per hit. And that was kind of a risky move, but it was actually a risky move that kind of pays off. Basically, it means I can activate Fury of the Fallen in only two hits, and that doubles our damage from all sorts and everything, and it starts going really well from here on out. Like, I had a lot of deaths, obviously, because I was taking a lot more damage. I could only take three hits in the entire fight, which meant that any mistake was punished very harshly. Uh, I actually switched up my chance up once again to Grub uh, Grubberfly's Elegy, because that also synergizes with um, Fury of the Fallen and it gives you even more damage. And it allows um, the Elegy to be activated at one heart oh, rather shit. than just full HP. I'm saying, oh shit there. <laughs> and this ended up being sort of the final build that I used and it, it worked wonders. You may think it's really stupid to go into this fight um, and just lose HP for no reason. As you can see here, I'm purposely hurting myself to get to low HP while also trying to deal some damage. And the, the speed at which you can get through each phase, because if you didn't know, when he goes into his proper fish mode, he does that at 75% HP, 50% HP, 25% HP. So you know what level of HP is at. And I could really easily get him into them sections, like take off a full quarter of his health in just rapid speed. Like you saw that how quick that was. But I did uh, have another death there, and there's me laughing as I start to go insane. Um, and I get a few more deaths along the way. Like I said, I did cut out a lot of deaths here. What the fuck I do in that situation? There's me getting really annoyed. <laughs> Um, and and you I think it's an idiot, moron. That's me swearing at myself. I think this death here, or the next one. Okay, this is this is the final run. I'll let you guys watch this in its entirety, uncommentated. Enjoy.
Don. Done. One hour and 56 minutes. Done. Heck you, boy. Heck you. Go away. Come on that bench. Overcharmed. I did it while overcharmed. Come on, badass. Yeah, that's right, boy. I did it. Oh, what? It's gone now. Do I not get to fight him again? Whatever, well, anyways. That's done. I think that probably took me like 50 attempts. But in the end, I just said, fuck it. Fury of the Fallen. Literally, Fury of the Fallen. That's all I did. I just got, on, got down to 1 HP and tried it. Basically, for a long time, I was trying to do it on 1 HP, no hit. And then towards the end, I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to get as far as I can without taking damage. Then on the last phase, take enough damage to activate Fury of the Fallen and kill him real quickly. Either way... Um, I'm probably gonna maybe cut this up and do some other stuff as well. I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna end this recording here and kind of go from there. I'll either do a deaths montage and like show me killing him in the end and me randomly swearing so I kept my mic on just in case I yelled and I did. Um, so I'll do like a deaths montage maybe or I'll include a few deaths, the final fight, and then I'll include something else like us going and fighting some other stuff. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one or later on this video. Hello everybody and welcome back. I don't know if this is the next episode or if this is literally just after I beat Grim. I'm recording it just after I beat Grim, but I'm not sure what I'm doing with the videos yet. You'll find out. Maybe this will be the next episode. Maybe this will be part of the same episode. Who knows? It's all a big surprise. But either way, I beat Grim. It was it was fairly hard. Um, my comments on that boss is I think it's um, it's not a fun fight. And that's not because it's difficult. I think it's just genuinely not a well-designed fight. No offense to the devs, but the fact, like, literally, all you do in that fight is wait for him to use the fireflies, uh, the, sorry, the fire bats or the, um, fire spikes, and then just hit him. And if he doesn't do that attack, you just can't win. And then if he, sometimes he get, you get really lucky and he does it, like, three times in a row, and it's an easy fight. It's just, it's a really poorly designed fight, in my opinion. But either way, someone said it was, like, the, the most fun fight in the game. I wholeheartedly disagree with that statement. I do not agree at all. Uh, anyways, we're overcharmed. I'm going to go and uh, search about. So Grim is like now gone. Uh, I'm not really sure what to think about that last sort of cutscene thing we had with Grim there. Uh, I don't think that's him banished, by the way. I think that I think that thing's us like finishing that and killing him. Anyways, we need to head over down to the King's Station. Uh, is it King's Station? Yeah, and then enter the waterways. I'm going to stick with being overchammed. That worked fine in that fight. I'm I'm confident, so... Right, go, go where you lot. What an odd place to hide this DLC in. You be dead. You be dead quickly. Right, around here. Goop all over the walls. Oh my god. That thing's big. It's the first time we've seen one of those things. There's probably going to be a few more, I bet. Oh my god. Ow. I couldn't quite get to safety there. Hmm. Okay, thank god I don't have double damage on here, because that guy would be dealing four damage to me. Kind of hard to work out where the hell we, meet, we need to go here. Damn it. Please just lead me to a bench. Is this it? Have we made it through? Absolute maze. So this area is new as well. We're definitely not backtracking at least. Junk pit. Geo. Quite a lot of open chests. Inspect. A simple key. I can't believe a simple key unlocks this thing. 
Hey! The God Tuner. Nice. Device of Revenants with the beings of great power. Right, now where do I go? Also, we'll dream nail him. Is this, is this, this is how we enter. This shit's hard, by the way. This is like boss rush sort of hard. Ooh. Got a, a little cutscene here. Bless me. Rank. Bless me. Thou crawler, thou cr cringer. Cringer? Crinner? I don't know. Thou smallest of the small. By what right dost thou trespass here, in this home of the gods? Trivel away and be gone. Be gone! We here. We have entered God Home. I'm ready. This is the last DLC and the last bit of aggression we have. We have to defeat all of these Pathions, and they're hard. They're really hard. I don't know what this means. Nail, shell, charms, soul, begin. What? Uh. Oh, we can like, we can like lock things off to, to um, change what we use. Right, go in here, just begin. Can I change my charm setup first? Please. I bet I can't. I'm not happy with the charm setup I have right now. I don't want wayward compass on. Wretch, thou hast ordinated thine own destruction. Through sacred combat are we attuned to this kingdom's greatest beings. By entering this gate, thou hast challenged the very gods of this kingdom. Dost this consider thyself the equal of this Pathion, of its master? Drawn thy weapon, then fool of fools, and be damned for thy arrogance, my god. That's some ye olde English there. Oh, I don't get to change my charm, so that's nice. Well, can this just be over so I can change it? Let, let's just kill ourselves a bit. So that I can, like, change my charm up. Because I'm not happy with it right now. It's kind of stupid it doesn't let you. But I'm sure there's a bench right nearby that we missed. Alright, there you go. I am gone. Right, where be a bench? No, 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 no. I don't want to challenge this one, obviously. I just want to go past to see if there's a bench anywhere. Okay, luckily it doesn't make us challenge them, which just opens the doors. Where's the bench? Is it through here? Please tell me there's one down here. It'd be really weird if there wasn't. Ooh, that's cool. Wait, there's some bosses we haven't defeated yet, apparently. Apparently, sir. A bench. Right. Let's try it. Let's go back. I'm over charming it. I'm trying it out. It worked last time. It worked for Grim. It worked for Grim. It can work for these guys too. I find it cool that you can like limit yourself. That's that's interesting. You can actually properly challenge yourself. That's 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 a nice bit of endgame content there. Alright, keep spawning boys, but we can take them out fairly easily. Ooh, that was a bad hit. To be fair, it's fine though. Getting hit's fine, because all that does is get us closer and closer to us being able to um, use our Fury of the Fall one, so I don't mind. I don't know how many bosses we have to fight here. I'm pretty sure there's a lot. And obviously each of them have different uh, bosses, each Pathion. We can't quite... Actually, we can. I was going to say we can't quite jump and hit him, but we can. Just It, it leads to um, damage. There we go. Once we get few of the fallen, though, we, we can't take damage, so we've got to be really careful. It's 
although, although it helps us kill things, it does make the fight slightly harder. But that one was, like, piss easy. I'm going to try it and see how it goes. Obviously, some of the bosses I'm going to have to practice before this even works, but... Well, so far this is going pretty well. Okay, be careful of the falling rocks. Right, well, that's him done. <laughs> the damage is insane with this build. This is the highest damage build. I'm pretty sure you get a bench every now and again as well, like, to heal yourself up. I don't know how often that is, but you do get one. Okay, be careful of the charging, obviously. But this guy shouldn't be too bad. Obviously, any boss can kill us, so we we got to be we got to be ready. Oh, I didn't know he did that. Got to be careful for that attack. God, this guy has a lot more health than I remember. Maybe they get, maybe the bosses in this just have more health in general. Yeah, that was stupid. Right, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Absolutely fine with that. The, the more practice we get, the easier this is going to become. So I'm fine with a, with an early death there. I don't know how many bosses are pair one, so we could we could have been like just a tiny little bit through it there. there we go. Right. I'm just going to like proper thingy take damage here. Just beast mode this guy because I, I need to get to low health anyways. Oopsie. That was not good. I don't want to get hit any more times though. Like, without it being a hit from him, I don't want to like fall from that because otherwise I'll be on 2 HP. I don't want to be on 2 HP, I want to always be on 1. I don't know how many enemies in this do double damage either because that, that's going to throw things off slightly. Okay, you got stuck there, that was weird. False, false Knight was like super easy. Well, no, he's not the False Knight, is he? He's just the normal Knight. Or is he called the, he is called the False Knight, isn't he? Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong there. Yeah, he's called the False Knight. Right. Got to be really careful of those falling rocks. You sometimes fall in big clusters that are hard to avoid. We don't even need to be near him to hit him either, which is brilliant. Okay, he's dead. I think this first section will work like this. The, the, the other Pathions might not work so easily this way, but this one definitely is. I don't know if um, Fury of the Fall increases spell damage either. I'm not sure. Oh, that was so stupid. I, I wasted spells I think I could hit him before I actually started his attack, but I can't. Oh, damn. I'm expecting I could definitely die to this guy because he just jumps around so much. Yeah. There you go. No worries, no worries. Begin. I'm hoping to get this one done. Right, I'm gonna bum rush this guy. This guy. That was a really bad hit there. I really shouldn't have taken that one. That was fine. I don't care about that. You can kind of sit on top of him sometimes, which helps. Stop spawning babies. No one cares about them. Oh, okay, okay, now I gotta be careful. Ha! He he walked into the wall by accident. Oh no! No! <laughs> I couldn't make it back to the platform. That was so dumb. Oh well. But yeah, this is really gonna be like the ultimate test, the final test, so to say. Um I think after this, there's four Pathions, so that's four percent completion. Um and we're currently on 107. So like we'll have one more percent after that. Oh no, God Turner, so it's five percent. So this'll this'll be the game. 
112% in them to complete all these, but like I said, there is quite a few of them, so we've got a lot to get through, and they get harder as we go on, so it's not exactly going to be the easiest thing in the world. Oh my god, I keep firing the wrong way. Oh my god, he keeps spawning babies. Stop it. You bitch. I mean, I, I am literally doing the same thing, but you're a bitch for it, and I'm not. Yeah, I'm actually thinking if I can kill this guy without taking damage, it'll be better. Because it'll lead us being able to use our um, slash in the later fights. And then just, just use the extra damage for the last few fights. Oh my god, please. Can you not fly so far away? There you go, got him. Got him without taking damage. This next one we can definitely get without taking damage. Gross Mother is not hard. The The only hard thing about Gross Mother is the small room that it puts you in. Like that, look. Okay, I might, I might as well take damage now then. There you go. What? It's not dead. How are you not dead yet, Gross Mother? Gross Mother, come on. So maybe if we can get two heals on, yeah, that, that seems like a better option. Try and get try and get a few heals on, and then just see where we can go from there. Yeah, this seems to work. Oh, that was so dumb. I didn't realise I'd got hit there. Ah. This is gonna be a challenge, as it says. Can't believe you can challenge it without your nail. That seems brutal. You have to, like, um, dream nail them, unless it's something dream nailing, just to get soul. So that was a really bad hit straight off the bat there. That was stupid. Stop spawning babies no one cares about. That works. He didn't even spawn any babies there. I think I instantly killed it. Oh, that was almost really stupid. Oh, damn. He did an attack I wasn't expecting there. Ah, I, I fucked it up. Right, I need, to, I need to make sure I don't get hit on this next fight. I need to get one heal in. Right, get one healing, just so I can get back to one HP easily. God damn, Gross Mother, you just don't give a shit, do you? About your head. You have so many head injuries. I wouldn't know you did that. There you go. Okay, so this is probably a better method of doing it than the first one I did. That's fine. Keep smacking him. Let him do this because I can't hit him without our uh, fly allergy. And then just let our babies do some damage. They deal enough damage to help out. Oh, that was stupid. I got some healing done there as well. Not healing, sorry. Um, you know what I mean. I hit him with the uh, dream nail. Starting to feel like a must guard. Must guard. Must charge is going to be oh such a pain in the ass without our longer nail. Oh my baby just fucked me over then. God damn it, babies. Knocked him back when I wasn't expecting it. Makes it a bit hard to jump on his head. Yep. There you go, he's dead. We got one heal, but that's the problem. We don't need one heal, we need two. 
I really shouldn't have done that. So what boss we got next then? Hornet? Garana Masala! She's gonna be dick showering me all over the place. Pegalas! Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> I had two HP. I, I need to keep it keep it all like a one a one mask interval to do this. At least we know who we got next. Horn is not so bad. I'm ready. This guy just needs to heck off being such a bitch. My controller needs to stop being a bitch too. Keep hitting the wrong direction by accident. Come on. No babies for you. There you go. Got him. Didn't get enough soul to heal up there, but that's fine. I'm, I wanna, I wanna try and beat as many as I can without getting hit, just to get used to it, sort of thing. There you go. Easy, gross mother. There, you can get two heals in here. There you go. Two heals is good. We know we can kill this. We can kill a few faces of this guy without being hit. Just depends what attacks he does. There you go, that's one done. Getting quick slash on this as well would be great, but we can't always get what we want. There you go. Another few hits on him. Just proves how much stronger as a character we are. It's not even like we're, we're better at playing it. Well, I mean, we are, but like the equipment that we've got is just so much stronger. We can just farm HP here, I didn't realise. Back up to full HP. Cool. Back up to full HP. That's a nice little interval there. Nice way of doing it. Now we can kill this guy with our thingy. Uh, elegy without having to be at low HP. That helps out a lot. The flies keep pushing him back. Stop doing that. They're ruining it. Okay, he's he's dealing. He's a really difficult boss. Like I really didn't expect him to be that hard, and he's he's kind of pushing our shit in. Stop pushing him back, please. It's so inconvenient. And then you do that as well, and it just makes it worse. Right. Dude, you can't be fucking jumping like that. Right. The flies are great. They're great, but maybe they have to go. Let's try out something else. So we went down here. In here. Right, let's take off that. Oh, you can't over charm like that. Wait a minute, so. Fury of the Fallen first, because that's just great. Elegy is also great. Unbreakable Strength, no, not Spell Twister. Unbreakable Strength is also great. And then, instead of that, go with that and that. Try that out. See how that goes. Maybe the maybe without the glowing worms we'll do a bit better. The glowing womb, sorry. Glowing womb's really good and it gives you some really good DPS, but I can't have it pushing enemies around. It's too it's too inconvenient. Far too inconvenient. I really, really like Grubfly Elegy though. Especially. Ow. Especially with Quick Slash on. 
Come on, you. Oh, you bastard. Controller. When I hit down, that's what you have to do, right? When I hit down, you hit down. Don't be trying to trick me. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Also, it means we'll have more soul if we're not using our babies, too. How are you not dead? Oh, almost, almost died there. I right, don't bother healing. There's no point if we're only going to be able to heal for one. Quick slash with this is going to be great, actually. Oh, that was actually a really good. I didn't even mean to do that, but that was really good. There you go. Get that going. Also, it's going to be really good for this guy. I'm going to take him out so much quicker. Get your beasted, boy. Then on his third one, just heal up. Just soul up. I'm the strongest now. I mean, you're on the floor. I'm braver than you all. Right. It's good that you can just keep him there for as long as you want. Use and abuse him. All right, I might as well get to basically full soul as well. Get off our meter filled up just for later fights. We're not using that much soul really, but it'll help out either way. There you go. And boom. Easy. A nice little break. I think I'm going to like try and use desolate dive on this moss dude. Maybe that'll help out. Good. It's so hard to predict when he's going to jump. There's absolutely like no tell at all, so I'm just taking damage to here. That's just totally dumb. Desolate dive worked out there. Like, look at that. How the fuck do you expect that? So difficult. It's not dead yet. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna save the rest of my uh, thingy for healing. Ow! Ooh, I did the wrong spell there. Now that we've got extra damage, I thought we might as well desolate dive at it. How are you not dead, dude? There you go. I'm not gonna heal twice here. I think. No! No, I can't! Bollocks! I've ruined this. I'm gonna have to fight Hornet normally without our elegy or anything. Bollocks. She likes to Garama Salami. Oh, damn. Yep, there you go. Fucking God! Why did I heal like that? It's so hard to, like, when you see the bar to know how much you're gonna heal for. I need to stay at one heart. Shouldn't even risk it. This guy I really need to beat without being hit. It'd make my life so much easier. But I can't do that apparently because I'm terrible at this game. I can beat Nightmare King Grim, but this this fly is too much for me, man. It's too much. I'm gonna take one heart damage against that guy just to get us back at the interval. There you go. That Abyssal Shriek is not what I wanted to do there. It just, just so you know. It's just the game, like, being a bastard again. Oh, for God's sake. The, the, the controls in this game. I love I love this game, and I think it controls pretty damn well. But sometimes, I'll be holding a button to, to, to aim down, and it just... 
It's just like, nah, you're not, mate. You're not actually holding that button. You're holding a different one. I can't. Just let me quick restart. Please, I can't not take that damage. I take it every single time we start this fight. Did I want to Abyssal Shriek? Do you really, 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 really fucking think I wanted to Abyssal Shriek that game? Literally, what would be the point? Why would I do that? Again? No! That's not the controls I was holding. And you know it wasn't. Piece of shit. And that one missed, great. We can hit him twice while he goes under us. It's just kind of hard to do. That does hit him, but it's not worth it. Damn it. Come on, fly at us. Damn it. Gets so high up there as well. It's bollocks. How are you not dead? Oh my god. You're the weakest boss in the game. Just die. Just die. Oh god, I forgot he does that. Oh. I'm instantly dead. Nice. I'm determined to do this while overcharmed. I'm determined. It's not even that worthwhile, I just really want to. I just can't not get hit straight away. I wish there was a way to quick restart here. This is this, this is annoying me. Why are you so close, dude? Go away. I'm activating this early to try and kill him a bit faster. Or just restart the fight because I lost health early. There you go. I think Gross Mother we can maybe open up with an Abyssal Shriek and get a lot of damage done. I don't know if it's going to work though. Yeah, it does work. Oh, you, you're just, you're just a shithead. Just a shithead. Going again. I want my, I want my wound things back. I like them. They annoy me on the Grismother fight. Not the Grismother, the, um, the moth thing fight. The moss boy. But everything else they're really good at. I really like them. My little babies. Oh god, I fell off by accident. I didn't realise there that falling off does deal two damage, so I've been falling off the map for no reason. I thought I only dealt, dealt one, so I was like getting back on my thingy for dealing uh... But I don't know what I'm talking about. The Fury of the Fall is what I'm trying to say. Oh, for God's sake, I just don't jump high enough, just jump higher. Come on, you. Come on, you. I'm just gonna sit here and, like, let him pass through me. Oh, no, it's too high up now. Doesn't matter. Oop, he got stuck on the floor there. I'm probably gonna stream this as well, um, when I go through this properly. Oh, you bastard. Got him. Right. Got two heals off. 
No, I can get, I can get four, I can get four. I think I got four. There you go. Don't care. Just keep hitting him. Right, just, I'm just going to keep going here. I'm not even going to bother doing the whole extra bit. Just so easy to kill, might as well just go past this guy really fast and try and practice the Moss guy. The Moss guy is giving us the most trouble out of all of these by far. Which is really bad considering he's such an early boss. Like, the fact that we're taking damage against him is really bad. I wanted to do that, by the way. Oh, your tail hit me! Yeah, right. Bollocks to that. I'm, I'm putting my babies back on. I like them. They make me smile. Right. Off with you, long nail. Is there a way that we can do this? Uh, so, start off with strength, then go quick slash and max pride. Then we don't get Fury of the Fallen. Yeah, we can't we can't have quick slash and Marker Pride. Just go with Marker Pride. How do we do this before? Wait, we go like that instead? And then like that? No. How do we do it before? I'm confused. Right, so We had the Grub Fly Elegy, definitely. No, let's 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 start this again. So Fury of the Fallen is the base. No, that's not Fury of the Fallen. I can't click things. Fury of the Fallen is the base. And then the babies, which is... What's the babies one? I never remember which one that is. It's the glowing womb. So then the glowing womb. And then unbreakable strength. And then long nail. And then quick slash. But no, no, wait, it can't be quick slash, then long nail, and then good fight elegy. There you go. That's better. Wait, where, where, where are we now? I've gone the wrong way. Oh no, it's up here, it's up here. Don't worry about me. I thought there was five of these, not three. Probably won't be it in this video, but this is just sort of a taster for you guys. Oh, every fucking time. I might as well just go... Let's just get down to, to my spirit level. Wait, that only did one damage that time. Yeah, that only did one damage one time there. Now I'm at the wrong interval. What? One time I fell it did two damage, the other time I fell it did one damage. That didn't make any sense, game. I need to learn how to fucking beat this guy without being hit. I'm so terrible. To be fair, I've only fought I only fought this guy once and I fought him wrong, so. Right, first, the first time I fought him, so. What is wrong with me? Stop being such a flaming massive retard. And now I'm at the wrong interval again, so... Okay, so that's a bug. That's definitely a bug. Right, just let these guys deal with him sort of thing. It gets really glitchy when it gets too close to the floor as well. It's kind of annoying. There you go, got him. 
I like my babies. They're too precious. No, gross mother. No. I don't think so. That is not right. Just, just heck off. Right. It's just this guy's, like, he's so slow to kill. It's such a dull fight. <laughs> Speed it up a bit, dude. Do something. He only goes really high if you jump high up to him, so just... Oh, it didn't hit down. That seems to be the main reason I actually get hit on this fight, if it doesn't hit down when I'm meant to. Right. Just waiting around. Nice, kill the baby. Thank you, little baby fly. Okay, you're dead. Gru's mother, surprisingly difficult in this small arena. Surprisingly difficult. Don't care about being hit. Oh, I dashed rather than hit. That was so stupid. Right. I'm going to end this one here. I'm going to try this again in the next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. And I, like I said, I don't know if this is going to be part of the Grim episode or not. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.